Hi everyone, Terry from the Smart Veggie Patch. I know many people wonder if you know growing your own food is even really worth it. And I thought it might be an excellent question to dive into today. And I also thought that I might take a quick look at the three main reasons that I hear most from people about why they're reluctant to start their own homegrown food journey. But before I start, just to let you know that you can find some free giveaways on our website at the moment on all things Smart Veggie Patch. And there is a link in the description below. And if the homegrown future of food is something you are interested in, please like and subscribe to stay informed and up to date on all of the new developments in this exciting space. So let's get started on today's topic of, is growing your own food really worth it? I know many of us, I believe, would naturally prefer to eat homegrown organic food. It tastes better, is more nutritious, and ticks all of the proper health, sustainability, and self-sufficiency boxes. Yet, most people are still reticent about starting their backyard veggie patch, and for a variety of reasons. Every homegrown food conversation that I have always has these reoccurring themes around why people are yet to start their home veggie patch. Firstly, many people just feel they lack sufficient knowledge to start a garden. And secondly, I think many people believe they don't have the money or finances to create one for themselves. And the third most common thing that I hear is that people just feel they're too busy and simply don't have the time to look after a home veggie patch. And I think as with all the decisions of what to do and not to do that we make in our lives, it always comes down to our individual priorities and perspectives. For the last 50 years or so in Western developed countries, growing food at home was something that no one needed to do. Stores and supermarkets were always brimming with low cost food and produce. A quick trip in your car could literally transport you to a veritable wonderland of abundance, choice and convenience. And why would anyone feel the need to slog it out day after day in a home vegetable garden to produce what is sitting on a shelf and required no more effort than the swipe of a credit card. For most of us, growing our own food was something that only grandma and grandpa did. And sure, Christmas holidays were always replete with their fresh garden produce, and it did taste different from what mum was buying at the supermarket, but they were out in the garden kind of all day, working for what seemed like an eternity, particularly to me as a boy, just to place a kind of small basket of produce on the kitchen bench at meal times. It hardly seemed convenient or economical, and they had the benefit that they'd been doing it for years, so they had this kind of wealth of knowledge about you know this plant and that compost. I know my grandfather could talk about you know literally tomatoes for hours, especially the weird-looking non-acidic yellow ones he grew because they didn't play up with his arthritis. So is growing our own food relevant to us in this day and age if we compare ourselves to that generation? Well, our grandparents' generation had veggie patches because they lived through some really tough times, things like world wars and a global economic depression. They had to have some backup and insurance against rising food prices and empty grocery shelves. The knowledge and effort and cost required to have a veggie garden was worth it if it prevented them from not having enough food. In their time, their priority was to protect their families from going hungry and, their, and from their perspective, that was a real and present possibility. If we fast forward to today and review our own priorities and perspectives on the value of a home veggie patch, we can see that while a home vegetable garden will also, of course, lessen our chance of going hungry, it also offers many other benefits and positives. And some of these, um, I believe, are much more specific to the life and times that we find ourselves in than what our grandparents faced. Benefits like improved food nutrition that provide better health outcomes, reducing our environmental impact, and lessening our involvement in the harm caused by the industrial food system. So let us look at the first reason many people don't start a home veggie patch, and that is because they feel like they just don't have the knowledge to start. Well, I can assure you, we know more about growing food now than ever before. We all carry the world's most extensive library of information on how to grow food on our smartphones. And better still, most of this information is in this easily digestible kind of how-to video format. You can now condense the knowledge acquired by years of hard graft by our grandparents into a kind of 30-minute online video tutorial. You can now also connect with local, national, and even international home food growing groups that offer almost instantaneous responses to just about any veggie patch related question that you might have. You or I no longer need to know anything as all of the information you need is literally sitting in your hand. 
a simple hey Siri or hey Google spoken into your phone before the relevant question you have, it, it's like having your grandparents co-gardening with you. Well, not really, but you kind of get my point. Their vast knowledge and really much, much more is easily on tap and no more than two magic words away. Sure, you'll get a constant stream of annoying ads uh, on the topic or problem you ask about for the next sort of six weeks or so, but I assure you there'll be nothing that you don't know about that topic by that time. The next reason I hear most is that I can't afford to create a veggie patch. Well, I think everyone's starting to feel the pinch financially with interest rates rising in tandem with living costs. Family budgets are getting tighter. Maybe it is a time that we need to review our priorities and perspectives. A veggie patch is an asset for you and your family. An asset in really simple terms is something that you own or control that will have a future benefit and or increased value. A home veggie patch is an asset that has multiple current and future benefits and with ever rising food prices and increasing value. We can all find ways to spend our money and the world's designed to make that as easily as humanly possible. But if you prioritize having a veggie patch in your backyard, you can and will make it happen. In its simplest terms, all it takes is a packet of seeds and a small pot of soil. And as your new asset, it lessens the likelihood you will go hungry, let you eat healthier food, creates a more sustainable lifestyle and provides future food security. I think if food and fuel are the kind of two main things driving rising living costs at the moment, we can easily reverse food prices with a home vegetable garden. I've never tried to make fuel from crude oil, but it, something tells me it would be infinitely more difficult than planting a packet of seeds. And perhaps the best way to ponder the economics of a home veggie patch is not just to consider what it will cost you to create one, but what it could ultimately cost you if you don't create one. Now, the third reason I most often hear is that I'm too busy to start and maintain a veggie patch. Well, being too busy was something that we really had to take into account before we built our smart veggie patch. Fitting it into our lives as parents of six kids and running a farm and multiple businesses was obviously a huge issue. Most mornings, as with everybody, we wake up and already feel as though we have kind of way too much to do in a single day. So how could we possibly find the time to have and maintain you know, a huge vegetable garden on top of that? Well, while we can't unfortunately say, hey Siri, can you pull out those old tomato bushes for us? We can use technology to reduce some of those hands-on aspects of a home garden. On the surface, it can often seem like the technology only impacts our lives negatively. Siri, are you still listening? But technology is now beginning to offer us the real-time saving benefits that it has always promised and often not truly delivered. We use technology in our smart veggie patch in many forms, including with an automated irrigation system. We import organic soil that has been processed so it's free of weeds. We use a hygrometer to warn us of issues with heat and humidity and microscopes and bricks meters to review soil and plant health. All of these things save us a considerable amount of time. Firstly, by in some cases taking entire jobs off our hands and secondly, by reducing the time it takes to maintain the garden and fix issues and mistakes before they take hold. I don't want to garden like my grandfather did 50 years ago. I just don't have the time. I like to look to the future and think, how will we grow food in 10, 20 or 50 years? If we take the best of the knowledge of our grandparents and the past and incorporate it with a new vision of a homegrown food future, then a home veggie patch can become a natural and normal part of our busy lives and times. If we pay any attention to both life and nature, we can see that cycles are one of the most fundamental aspects of both. We see them in the rise and fall of the tides, the seasons, births and deaths. Cycles govern every facet of our lives. And over the last 80 years, we've just experienced a cycle of the greatest period of economic growth and expansion and social stability in human history. We have no idea what the next decade or so will have in store for us, but there is a growing kind of perspective that we're well overdue for a downward cycle. Therefore, perhaps our priority now should be in creating our own personal food insurance plans like our grandparents had, but using things that can make it far easier and much better than our grandparents could ever have imagined. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you gave you some food for thought on reasons why you might not have started your veggie patch yet. And please remember to like and subscribe to our community on your preferred social media platform, or better still, go to our website where you can always stay connected. And there are some free giveaways on there for you right now. And the links, as I said before, are in the description below. Please have a great day and take care.